Welcome you all to organometallic reagents. In this model, already we had two lectures. In the first lecture, we studied Grignard reagents. The second lecture, we focused on organolithium reagents. In this lecture, we will cover organo copper, organo zinc, and oxymercuration demercuration reactions. Here, the preparation of Argon copper reagent is shown. When you react with alkyl or aryl lithium and copper iodide, you can try to generate argon copper complex, which can further undergo reaction with argon lithium to give the Gilman reagent. Professor Kilman also is known as father of organometallic chemistry. This is an example shown here. A methyl lithium undergoes reaction with the copper and iodide in diethyl ether to give this methyl copper complex, which undergoes further reaction with methyl lithium to give the dimethyl organocuprate a reagent. And this exists in dimer uh, in diethyl ether solvent. And in place of methyl group, you can also have other uh, alkyl uh, group like primary, secondary, tertiary alkyl groups, alkenyl and aryl. They can readily undergo reaction with the copper and iodide to give this the corresponding organo copper complex, which can be further reacted with another uh, equivalent of organo lithium reagent to give this uh, the respective Gilman reagent. This is also known as lower order cuprate. Now, let us look at the reactivity of the Gilman reagent. If you look at the alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound, you can see there are two electrophilic centers this hard electrophile and this soft electrophile, when you react. If you remember in the case of uh, argon magnesium uh, compounds or argon lithium compounds, they readily undergo reaction with this carbonyl group. One to addition, uh, we used to get the corresponding addition product. However, here in this case, when you use the Gilman reagent, the reaction takes place at the beta carbon because this is uh, just I mentioned soft electrophile and if you compare uh, the nucleophilicity of the Gilman reagent so this is soft nucleophile so this soft nucleophile undergoes reaction at the soft electrophile therefore one pore addition is favored when the case of Gilman reagent and if you have the nucleophile it undergoes addition and you will be able to get the, uh, the corresponding 1,4 addition product. This is uh, in the case of Grignard reagent, uh, the 1 to addition is favored and you will be getting the corresponding uh, alcohol as the product. This is uh, quite different from the, uh, this is a difference between the Gilman reagent and uh, uh, argon lithium, argon magnesium uh, reagents. And in case of just argon magnesium, for example, is given here when you react with the methyl magnesium bromide or methyl lithium, they readily undergo reaction with the carbonyl group, the carbon of the carbonyl group. And on the other hand, when you use this, uh, this cuprate reagent and which undergoes reaction at beta carbon and you get the corresponding addition product. Therefore, in the case of uh, cuprate reagent and like ester, amides, they do not react. This is, but whereas in case of uh, Grignard reagent or argon uh, lithium, they readily undergo reaction. These are the difference between this uh, Gilman reagent and uh, argon magnesium or argon lithium reagents. So, now let us look at uh, the application part. Here, uh, some examples are shown uh, which involve conjugate addition reaction. If you look at the first example, here we use this dimethyl cuprate which undergoes uh, reaction, 1,4 uh, addition reaction 
uh, to give this compound in uh, 50 percent yield. As we have seen just now, it can undergo addition. So, you will be able to so you will generate uh, this copper 3 intermediate which can give uh, the product by reductive elimination. So, when you do the workup, so you will be able to get the corresponding ketonosal product. This is the how the reaction takes place. So, the next example involves uh, the higher order cuprate, this is known as higher order cuprate. Cuprate reagent. So, just uh, I have mentioned this is uh, lower order cuprate. So, the difference between this shows uh, slightly higher uh, reactivity, it shows higher order reactivity comparing to the lower order cuprate. Uh, this can be easily prepared if you have uh, in this case 2 equivalent of uh, lithium reacts with copper cyanide, copper 1 cyanide and uh, uh, generates this. Uh, So, now the cyanide is not bonded with the copper therefore, it is written like this it is bonded with the lithium. So, this uh, shows higher reactivity comparing to the lower order cuprate. Here another example here uh, again reaction of this uh, cuprate is shown with this uh, alba beta unsaturated ketone and so after the reaction you will be have this enolate and which in situ undergoes a nucleophilic substitution. Uh, this is a good living group nucleophilic substitution to give this uh, bicyclic ketone as the product. So, these are the basic and uh, examples. So, this, these reactions have been well explored now. Uh, the asymmetric versions of these reactions also have been uh, considerably done. For your understanding, I have taken three examples, simple examples, where we can see the first example as the ester group and it is uh, uh, intact under these conditions. So, you can try to selectively react with this alpha beta unsaturated double bond here and uh, through 1 4 addition you can get uh, the addition compound. So, this is uh, different from the Grignard reaction where this ester also can undergo reaction, but under this condition since methyl is less nucleophilic nature selectively it undergoes the 1 4 addition you can get the addition product. The last example we have seen uh, you can also uh, following the conjugate addition reaction you can also try to do a nucleophilic substitution with the unilate in this way you can try to uh, generate the bicyclic system with the excellent stereochemistry. So, the mechanism of this conjugate addition reaction shown here, addition of this can, can give this intermediate, this is a copper 3 intermediate, this is a copper 1, 
once if we have this one then this can produce it can give this enolate through reductive elimination once you form this one when you do the workup you will be able to protonate which can isomerize to the ketone this is how the reaction takes place here one for addition followed by you get this copper 3 intermediate once you form this one this can undergo reductive elimination to give this product so in this reaction if you look at it you generate one equivalent of this uh, copper complex as a byproduct so here reaction of acid chloride into ketones are shown here you can also try to react gilman reagent with acid chloride to give the ketone uh, vinyl cuprate has been shown with this cyclohexyl chloride the reaction of this uh, vinyl cuprate reagent has been uh, shown with this acid chloride to give uh, the ketone as the product and similarly here the reaction of uh, this acid chloride which also has ester as a functional group can be reacted with this uh, dimethyl uh, cuprate to give this uh, uh, ketone as the product. So these are very important transformations because you cannot make uh, these compounds using this organo magnesium or organo lithium reagent and you can make this uh, vinyl uh, ketone as a product from acid chloride and similarly here you can also try to convert this acid chloride into ketone where you have the ester group present in the molecule. The next example is the reaction with epoxides. You can also carry out the opening of the epoxide in this case. So this reaction takes place less uh, from less sterically hindered side and uh, stereo specifically you can open this and you get, get this alcohol as a product and similarly in this case you can open of this you get this compound you can do here it is goes via SN2 pathway reaction takes place uh, via nuclear substitution and this the Gilman reagent approaches from the less sterically hindered side and you will be able to uh, form uh, the corresponding alcohol as the product. Here the substitution reactions are shown. This uh, depends upon the mechanism of this reaction. Mostly there are two possibilities. It can go via nucleophilic substitution, SN2 pathway. Alternatively, it can also undergo oxidative addition followed by reductive elimination. Uh, depends upon the uh, nature of the substrates. A reaction of this vinyl bromide uh, with uh, organo cuprate has been shown here and this coupling can be carried out in a good yield. Similarly here uh, this uh, reaction of this dibromo uh, derivative with uh, this um, dimethyl cuprate shown here which can be uh, reacted to give this uh, geminal dimethyl derivative in good yield. Similarly this also this, uh, this organo cuprate can be reacted with this tosyl is a very good living group via SN2 pathway you will be able to form this long chain alkyl molecule in good yield. So far we have seen uh, three type of uh, reactions. First one we have seen the conjugate addition reaction. Then we have seen the opening of epoxides. Then reaction with acid chloride and you can also carry out the coupling of if you have the vinyl or alkyl halides or alkyl tosylate you can try to uh, couple with uh, organo cuprates in good yields. In addition to that you can also carry out reaction with allylic acetates. Some examples are shown here. in this case if you look at it here and you can uh, react so this can undergo reaction and you will be able to uh, uh, get this compound. If you look at here, whatever the organo cuprate approaches the opposite side of this uh, acetate group, and you will get with the excellent uh, stereochemistry. And uh, here, another example this one involves a vinyl methyl substituted uh, cyclohexyl acetate. Here, if you look at this, is equatorial, this also equatorial, and one to equatorial trans. 
when you uh, react uh, this with this uh, dimethyl cuprate, so you will be able to get uh, this compound as a single isomer in good yield. On the other hand, if you take this axial and uh, equatorial on this cis, so in this case and they exist in the equilibrium and this they undergo reaction with this uh, organocuperate reagent to give a mixture of um, alkenes. If you look at it here, you get here E, here E and Z mixture, you get a mixture of geometrical isomers. When you take this uh, trans 1 equatorial equatorial, it undergoes a reaction. So, in this case the reaction selectively takes place and you get this geometrical isomer as a, a single compound. On the other hand, if you take uh, this methylvinyl cyclohexyl acetate in the, which uh, they exist um, as shown here, they ready both undergo reaction you end up with mixture of geometrical isomers. So far we have seen uh, the some of the uh, reactions which can be carried out using organocuperates and mostly we have seen the use of lower order organocuperates other in other words Gilman reagent and you can uh, carry out addition 1 4 addition reaction, you can carry out substitution reaction, you can also try to open epoxides, you can try to react with acid chlorides at the end we also have seen and you can also, if you have allylic acetate, you can try to react, you will be able to get the addition product. Uh, so, that depends upon the substrate and we have seen two examples where you can, uh, based on the nature of substrate, you will be able to get the corresponding alkene as a product. The next, let us go for the glasser coupling and if you have alkyne, terminal alkyne and you can try to react, you can try to couple, you can dimerize in the presence of copper volume chloride and base under oxygen where oxygen acts as a oxidant and for example, uh, if you take this phenylacetylene, two molecules of phenylacetylene can di uh, combine together, you will be able to get this uh, homo coupled 1,3 diene as a product in the presence of copper and chloride, ammonium hydroxide and ethanol solvent. This deprotonation of this acidic proton using base can and followed by uh, reaction with the copper and chloride can generate uh, this intermediate. You will have so once you form this one the presence of oxygen it forms a radical, these two radical can combine together and you will be able to get uh, the dimerized compound as a product. So, you can see the application of this reaction is very important transformation. For example, you can try to make uh, the cyclic uh, polyalkyne derivative uh, using this reaction. Uh, when you take this alkyne derivative in the presence of copper chloride in DM uh, EDA in uh, dichloromethane at 0 degree Celsius under oxygen atmosphere you can try to trimerize to get this microcyclic molecule in 47 percent yield. So, just we have seen if you have the phenylacetylene and uh, copper 1 chloride in the presence of base and oxygen you can dimerize. On the other hand, you can also heterocouple, for example, you take phenylacetylene, you can also take another acetylene having a halogen here and once if you have this one now you can try to couple them uh, using copper on iodide in the presence of base under reflux conditions and you can use a different alkyne here. First uh, the base can uh, deprotonate 
the acidic proton which can undergo reaction with the copper and iodide and you will be able to generate pyridinium the salt. So, you will have this complex once you have this one which can undergo oxidative addition with this iodo derivative one oxidative addit can give this uh, copper uh, intermediate which can give this product by reductive elimination you regenerate the copper and iodide. So, catalytic amount of copper and iodide is sufficient you can carry out this reaction you can uh, do heterocoupling of two alkane derivatives under these conditions. Now, let us look at an application of this reaction for example, here the coupling of uh, this alkyne with this vinyl iodide is shown here in the presence of copper and iodide and potassium carbonate under heating as we have seen just now uh, deprotonation of this acidic proton by base can followed by reaction with the copper and iodide can first generate this copper acetylene derivative. Once you form this one then now which can undergo oxidative addition intramolecularly with this vinyl iodide then you will be able to generate this intermediate copper 3 intermediate this can give the product by reductive elimination and you will be able to get this macrocyclic lactone as the product. Now, another example this is the intramolecular reaction this example involves intermolecular coupling of this terminal alkyne with this uh, iodobenzene derivative this can be coupled using copper one oxide in the presence of pyridine under heating and you will be able to generate uh, this compound. In this case this alkyne first can react in the presence of base and uh, you will generate this intermediate once you generate this one which can undergo reaction with uh, this iodobenzene derivative then you will be able to generate so this can give uh, the product by reductive elimination So, once you form this one in this case and you have the So, you will have this product once you form this one under this condition it undergoes intramolecular cyclization. See it undergoes intramolecular cyclization to give. So, copper can uh, here also can make chelation. So, once you form this one. you get uh, 
the cyclic compound as the uh, product. So here what happens that uh, coupling followed by cyclization happens therefore you will uh, end up with this. Uh, benzofuron as the product. So far we have seen uh, the reaction of organocopper reagents. Now let us move to the uh, reactions of organozing reagents. There are several uh, methods are available to prepare organozing reagents. Here some of the examples shown if you have the aryl halide for example here iodobenzene derivative which can be reacted with the zinc metal. Uh, by insertion you can get this uh, uh, you start with the zinc 0 oxidative addition you can get this uh, organ of zinc reagent. Similarly, if you have uh, you can also uh, if you have alkene you can react with the boron. So, you will be able to have in this case So, which can when you react with dimethyl zinc by transmetallation you will be able to generate This organ of zinc reagent which can be used for carbon carbon bond formation. Similarly, you can also in the presence of this titanium catalyst you can try to react with zinc iodide and lithium hydride you can form uh, this compound. This uh, the regiochemistry depends upon the alkynes. So, there are several methods are available in this way you can try to make the organ of zinc reagents. Now, let us see some of the important and uh, common applications of the organozing reagents. Uh, one of the popular uh, reaction is uh, the reformers reaction all of you know very well. When you have the alba bromo ester, so you can try to react with the zinc which can undergo addition with ketone to give this uh, beta hydroxy ester as a product this very uh, important uh, transformation. So, the mechanism of this reaction shown. So, alba bromo ester can undergo reaction with the zinc you will form this enolate. Once you form this one this enolate now can undergo addition reaction with the ketone and you will be able to generate uh, so, this cyclic intermediate once if you have this one this can now undergo reaction as through this cyclic transition state to give this enolate when you do the workup and you will be able to generate this beta hydroxy as a product. Here some of the uh, example zone where you can find the use of reformacy reaction. Uh, here uh, the reaction of this allyl bromide is shown with this aldehyde in the presence of zinc powder and iodine and you can try to react with this aldehyde and you will be able to generate this lactone. You have the once you after the reaction you will have the OH group which can undergo intramolecular reaction to give this lactone as a product. Now, another example here the reaction of this alba bromo ester uh, with in the presence of zinc is given it can undergo addition followed by desulfurization can give this uh, pyrrolidin uh, derivative as the product. So, the other uh, interesting uh, example is the Simmons-Smith cyclopropanation which involved uh, zinc carbonide reagent 
and when you take uh, the zinc and react with the diiode of methane and you will be able to form a argon of zinc intermediate which can now undergo reaction with alkene uh, stereo specifically you will be able to get uh, the cyclopropane derivative. For example, if you take cis alkene and you can try to react with the zinc and uh, diiode of methane and you will be able to form uh, this reagent. Once you form this one which can transfer intramolecularly this uh, methylene you will be able to form uh, the cyclopropane derivative. On the other hand if you take the trans one and similar way you can make this uh, trans cyclopropane. This reaction has also been well explored and uh, so many uh, now you can also carry out the asymmetric version of this reaction. Here uh, some examples shown and you can for example in this case you have the two double bond and this can make chelation with this were uh, So, chelation then this uh, the bottom phase of the alkene the cyclopropanation takes place and similarly here uh, the chelation of this reagent that leads to the formation of the cyclopropane in the top phase. So, this when you have the chelating group and the reagent can make chelation you can try to uh, transfer the methylene or the top or bottom side depends upon the uh, stereochemistry of the chelating group. Another example given here you can also try to do cyclopropanation by uh, in this case and you will be able to get the top side as you have the ketone which can make chelation you can introduce make the convert the double bond into cyclopropane uh, with the excellent stereochemistry. The other uh, interesting reaction is uh, the cross coupling reaction and whenever you have uh, the aryl iodide and you can try to couple with argon zinc reagent using palladium based catalyst you will be able to make the bi aryl system. One example shown here in this case here this lithium reagent can couple with this uh, bromo derivatives two bromo bromobridin derivatives uh, in the presence of palladium catalyst and zinc chloride via cross coupling reaction which has been used to construct this medicinally important heterocyclic compound. So, Professor Nigeshi got Nobel Prize for his contribution in this cross coupling reaction using argon zinc with the aryl halides using palladium catalyst. Uh, this reaction uh, has wide applications in carbon carbon uh, bond formation reactions. The mechanism of this reaction shown here oxidative addition of this palladium 0 complex can give this uh, intermediate. Once you form this one which can undergo trans reaction with this argon zinc reagent through transmetallation and you will be able to uh, generate this uh, palladium 2 intermediate which can now uh, give the product by reductive elimination which can undergo cis trans isomerization and followed by reductive elimination can give the product where you generate the palladium 0 which can undergo further reaction with the halo substrate to give the oxidative addition which can further react with the argon zinc reagent to give the product through reductive elimination. So, the next part of we are going to see is the reaction of argon and mercury compounds oxymercuration demercuration this is also very important reaction if you have alkene if you want to transform into alcohol and it has wide applications and in this case if you for example when you react this alkene with the mercury acetate and uh, followed by reduction and you will be able to form the introduced OH group at the more uh, substituted carbon this is what happens here. And let us look at this one this alkene the OH group is introduced here and similarly in this alkene allylic alcohol you can also try to uh, react with mercury acetate in the presence of methanol. Now, uh, instead of uh, here OH group here water is a nucleophile here you can also use methanol and in this way you can make the methoxy ether as the product in this case you get mixture of compounds. And the mechanism of this reaction shown here and this alkene can react with the mercury acetate and you will form this mercurium ion intermediate once you form this one and now 
this carbon is more electrophilic nature like carbocation like uh, this one now which can undergo reaction with this nucleophile opening up this one you will be able to generate uh, this intermediate once we have this can lose proton and you will be able to have this hydroxy derivative which can be now converted into alcohol by uh, using the sodium borohydrate reduction through demercuration reaction. The stereoselectivity of this reaction shown here and uh, so if you have chiral center next to the alkene you can try to generate diastereoselectivity in this case the anti diastereomer is major compound uh, so you can try to produce a 3 is to 1 ratio. Uh, this can be understood from this Neumann projection whatever shown here and this is the favored one and this is the disfavored one due to static reason and this confirmation is favored therefore you uh, get this anti diastereomer as the major product. In summary we have seen today uh, the reaction of uh, lithium organocuperate and we have seen the preparation of organocuperate and the reaction with the, for several reactions and mostly the organocuperates are say, used for the uh, conjugate addition reactions in addition to that you can also try to use for reaction of allylic uh, acetates, substitution reactions, opening of epoxides, reaction with acid chloride where you can try to generate ketone as a product. Then we have seen the glasser coupling uh, which involves the dimerization of alkynes in the presence of copper 1 halide and base and oxygen where we acts as a oxidant in this reaction you can dimerize the alkyne you can get the uh, homocoupled product. You can also try to couple two different alkynes through castro stevens coupling and one of the alkynes should have the terminal CH bond which can be deprotonated using base it can be reacted with the copper 1 halide you will have the copper acetylene complex which can be reacted with another alkyne having the halogen and you can undergo oxidative addition you will have the copper 3 intermediate which can give the product by redact elimination. Next we have seen the reaction of organo zinc reagent and there are several methods are available to prepare organo zinc and we have seen few examples. If you have the halogen you can also aryl or alkyl halide you can try to react directly with the metal oxidative addition you can make the organo zinc reagent. Alternatively you can also make through transmetallation we have seen one example you can react with the borane reagent then you can react with the dialkyl zinc in this way you can try to make organo zinc reagent. Alternatively you can also if you have alkyne you can use a titanium catalyst you can try to add um, organo zinc reagent in this way you can make uh, new organo zinc reagent uh, for the uh, reactions. Then we have seen some applications how you can use for the uh, some of the reactions we have seen uh, one is a reformers reaction and we have seen the application of reformers reaction for the to make macrocyclic system inter and intramolecular reactions then we have seen also the Nikeshi Kreis coupling reactions if you have the organo zinc alkyl or aryl halide you can try to couple and in this way you can make new class of compounds and the end of the uh, lecture we have seen the uh, reactions of organo mercury compounds uh, we have seen some examples of the reactions of alkenes to alcohols uh, and uh, other uh, reactions to ethers via oxymercuration demercuration using mercury acetate and in the presence of appropriate nucle nucleophile you can try to convert alkene to the addition product with this we conclude this lecture thank you very much. Mm -hmm.